Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Wednesday here, 14 October. Tricky day yesterday in stocks. Up at 32, down at 90, up at 15, down the figure, back up at 20. Here we are at 15. Um, this is the five minute chart, which I rarely use. This is the hour lease, looks a little bit more uh, followable, but there's some hectic shit going on in between these hours, so it's really tough to trade. Not really sure where she's going to go here, um, so just kind of watching, scratching my head a little bit. Fair bit of bad news overnight. Brexit coming to the deadlines. Uh, some talk about Eli Lilly's clinical trials are being halted. Um, also, we had um, you know central bankers talking about we don't want to, we're not here to raise stocks. Our mandate is employment. Uh, that was out of uh, from one of the Fed guys. So these are all sort of marginally bearish plus the dollar's bid. Um, gold got smacked down to 1885 uh, in the overnight session but um, the real point as we know the pivot from before is 1880 so not tons to do here Apple um, could not hold its bid up at 126, closed at 121. Euro is in consolidation phase here. You can see this little short term trend line kind of this work through, um, through 78. Traded all the way down to 30, and now we're sort of consolidating. Looks like she wants to take a stab at lower. Um, but we're kind of at the mercy of of general news, maybe some Brexit news. Um, Got to watch gold, cable, TikTok. The clock is ticking. I do think Brexit will get settled. Super hard to trade this um, on a sort of positioning basis. You kind of have to trade it hour to hour. Uh, down here at 129.13, I don't know. Like, if you put your hat on, you go, there's going to be some... The big, big stop-loss risk is going to be below 128. Can we get there? <clears throat> of course we can. Um, will we stay there? I don't think so. Um, but tricky. Dollar Swiss climbing higher. Nobody cares. Dollar Yen... Higher to 60, lower to 30, just consolidating with its with its friend Euro dollar. This one looks like she wants to go lower dollar yen, but again, there's no juice there, so there's no real point in trading it. Dollar Zar has been between sort of 45 and 55 for three days now, and nothing going on there. Um, dollar Mex the same. Aussie offered. A lot of bad news between China and Australia has been weighing on the Oz. Euro Aussie, nothing to do. Aussie yen offered, but real slow. This this guy's of interest. Of course she popped again in Asia, which is dangerous. Remember last time we popped in Asia was 133.30 that level. This 133.45 was of interest to me because just there was clearly an offer there. Um, hmm. Certainly don't trust that bar. Do we have to get above 57 now to make any headway? Maybe. Dollar try on its way, on its way to 10, 
8 soon first and then 10 of course but and our old friend ZB um, which has just been annoying you know we're short um, got some powder to sell some more but stocks basically near the all-time highs why um, why have we had a two two point bounce in uh, the long end of the bonds when we're going into this massive massive uh, need to sell more bonds and create more stimulus um, don't know but we're sticking with it um, we've stuck with it for, for quite a, quite some time now so we'll just have to stick with it down here and sort of think about this as consolidation where can we sell today or where will we sell today uh, there'll be offers at 25 and 176 bids don't you know now there's really no point in trading this we're just waiting for this 173 area to go um, and so we can get the yield up towards the 180 target Bitcoin not doing a whole hell of a lot as you can see I'm fairly stumped here we have PPI uh, we got PPI today which doesn't really it's not gonna move the needle at all we got loads of Fed speakers which nobody cares about at all um, so I don't really know what's gonna industrial production out of Europe again nobody cares I think we're on the same, we're just on the same, uh, same path, right? She should be quiet in Europe, looking for news about stimulus. We're looking for news about COVID. Um, and we're looking for news out of Trump's mouth that's going to drive this. Uh, more dollar buying, basically more stop loss hunting heading into the big event now or we're sort of two and a half weeks away um, looks to be the way forward so stocks are getting squeezed higher bonds are getting squeezed higher euros getting squeezed lower these are all sort of consensus positions um, that are getting pinched trying to fade this euro move makes a, makes sense to me it's just a question of where and it's a question of COVID right how bad the media portrays COVID or how bad COVID actually gets in reality here in Europe I have no idea what's uh, what's what on that front like I know people are getting COVID um, I just don't know what the response is going to be whether there's going to be lockdown and that's really the question will there be lockdown or not if there's lockdown it's incredibly bad uh, for the finances of Europe that will hurt euro but if there's no lockdown if if germany kind of says what they've been saying um i do like trying to pick up some euros somewhere between here and say 116 40 so you got this little 100 point maybe consolidation here um but on a wednesday with really no drivers in mind the Apple News has come and gone equities are higher than lower now higher again um, patience someone wrote on Twitter yesterday it feels like gambling recently trading feels like gambling and it, it really does and when it does feel like gambling you should not be trading um, gambling is just like you know picking a number on a roulette table trading is I have an idea I have a notion I have some evidence um, and now I'll put on a trade if you don't really have a notion if you don't really have a lot of evidence and you're feeling a bit lost like we are right now just gotta keep it super super light anyway that's all I got for you guys today good luck out there uh, and uh, we will see you tomorrow ciao